So today we are talking about all things combi ovens. Everybody's heard of a Rationale, really good oven, one of the biggest in the market, but what else is out there? Let's take a look. So a combi oven is a combination oven. People always say, oh, you know, I want to put some food in a rationale, I need a rationale. Uh, it's sort of like the Hoover vacuum cleaner sort of scenario. But um, today we're going to look at some other rationales or combi ovens. So a combi oven is basically an oven that cooks in the different ways. So it's a combination oven. So you can steam, uh, you can do convection oven, so the dry heat with a fan, or you can do a combination of both. And from there on, there's other features and stuff that goes into these ovens, which they put them in the market and where they sit and what they can do and what you can do on them and cook and things like that. You can do smoke, you braise, steam, sous vide, lots and lots of different features. So it's sort of like a Swiss army knife in the kitchen, really. So the first one we're gonna sort of look at here is the oven from Unox. So Unox are an Italian company. Uh, you know, really coming up in the in the industry now. So you might have seen Unox or heard of Unox. Um, very, very good ovens. They've got something that sort of fits every sort of size feature. You know, you can have them lengthways, you can have them horizontal, you can have them landscape, portrait, whatever you want to call it. They've got an option to fit pretty much any uh, appliance and every application and every room, really. Uh, Power-wise, the same, gas, electric, that sort of thing. So Unox are manufactured, as I say, in Italy. They've got pretty much do a large amount of all their own stuff in the factory out in Italy. Um, I think it's like 97% of all in-house stuff. So they make their own uh, components, make their own metal, they make their own chemical for it and things like that. So really good for uh, things like spares and things, knowing that they've got control over all those aspects of the oven. So if you did have a, a breakdown or something, chances are they've got the parts there ready to go. Uh, it's the same with the components inside the oven. So a lot of the components they use on all the range, meaning like the fan, for instance, can be taken from one to the other, that sort of thing. Again, it just means there's less parts to, to change out and swap around. If you've got one on the van, then chances are you've got the parts to repair it on site which is great, but hopefully we don't get any breakdowns. That's the whole idea. So what makes these ovens slightly different? The screen is the main sort of feature on the Unox oven. So you different panels, they call them on the different screens will give you different options, different um, features and things like that. So uh, as you go up through the price points and things like that, the screen gets more better, um, better features, better quality and things like that. So the one we're looking at here is the Chef Top Mind Map Plus screen. So the screen on this one, as you can see, is a high definition screen. So very similar to sort of like a, a smartphone and things like that. So all the control you could ever want on an oven, I guess, is it is in here. Everything from full manual control. So as you can see here, we're going through the screen. You've got your time, temperature, humidity, uh, fan speed and things like that. You can set preheating uh, and also you can do stage cooking. So you can do like overnight holds. You can do uh, you know different, different temperatures over different time, that sort of stuff. Uh, so full manual control there. You've also got things like built-in programs. So again, you can do anything that you do often. So maybe in the morning you do a breakfast or you do, uh, I know you've got your own recipe to do your amazing pulled pork or something like that. You can create that recipe and save it in your programs. And then when you come in to put the product into the oven, you simply just press the button and then the oven will do everything for you over and over again. So great for consistency, or if you've got recipes stored in there and you've got multiple sites, that sort of thing, you get that consistency. You've got two sort of cooking, live cooking methods, I would call them. So one's called multi-time, one's called mise en place. Uh, so the multi-time one is, if you've used combi ovens before, if you haven't, uh, basically during service, you can determine the shelf timing for each shelf inside. So this is a 10 grid. And what we can do, we can load the oven up depending on what you're doing through service and set a time for that desired shelf. So say for argument's sake, we're in service and we've got some fish on, I can put the fish in tray number one, set that timer to eight minutes, press go. Another check on, ah, oh, we've got some sausages for instance, put them in tray number two, put that on for five minutes, press go. So once that obviously counts down, the tray one will finish and you know that product's ready and then you can keep going through the service and it's great to cook to order that sort of thing. On the flip side of that, we've got the mise en place feature. So mise en place is the reverse. So you can load it up with products. So for instance, breakfast is probably the obvious one. So you load up your, your hash browns, your sausages, your bacon, your uh, mushrooms, whatever you're putting in there as a breakfast. Uh, it will determine once you've done your presets on the cooking time, meaning what will happen is everything will cook to that exact time and finish at the same point. So great for banqueting and things, hotels and that stuff, where you cook it to a time rather than to order. So if I need to have my all my products ready by 12 o'clock, I know that the longest product is gonna take 18 minutes 
and then from there it will count down to zero. So great for that sort of features. So with all the ovens today, you can do connectivity. You can connect up to the, to the cloud or the DDC, and then from there you can monitor things like energy usage and uh, when it was cleaning and that sort of stuff. So great for people with larger stakes with lots of ovens, you can really monitor what's going on. Again, you've got the Chef Unox and the uh, built-in recipes as well for that sort of thing. Road to clean, so one of the best features about a combi oven, in my opinion, is the fact that they clean themselves. Well, 99% of them do anyway. So each oven will use a slightly different method of cleaning. Uh, these guys from Unox use a detergent system. So I'm gonna grab a bottle here. So here, you got the bottle system. Nice, clean, compact, and bijou, what we like. What we'll do is a tray in the bottle here. The tray comes out. Lift the flap up there. You'd open the the, uh, the bottle itself. There is a seal on top normally, but this is obviously a display bottle ready for the for the showroom that we've got here. You'd put that in there. As you switch, as you turn it on, sorry, the uh, point will break the seal and the liquid will drop into the holder there, meaning there's no risk. You know, don't have, to have uh, gloves and things like that on because there's no risk for cosh, uh, burn skin, that sort of stuff. So PPE is uh, is kept at a minimum. Uh, recyclable, so go away. And then that liquid then stays in the oven. And then depending on what um, cleaning, what uh, level you're doing, will determine how much detergent it uses and how much a, a cost of a wash will be. So nice and safe, stored away in the oven, no issues with uh, messing around as they and caution stuff and those bottles can be stored nicely and safe. So that's one good plus with a liquid style of cleaning. So the steaming feature on this oven as well, so as we've got the oven open. So some ovens will use various types of steam systems, whereas the Unox system uses, they call it like a similar to a spritzer system. But on the back there, there's a pipe system. Water comes down that, is ejected onto the, uh, through the fans, cut up and then put onto the element, create steam. So some systems we'll speak about in a minute use boiler tank systems where there's an element inside a tank, boils the water, creates a steam. This doesn't do that, it's sort of a direct steam system where that water goes on there. So it's slightly energy efficient and you get less risks of boiler tanks coming down and things like that. So a really good feature to have. And then you've got the other basic stuff you get in an oven, similar things like probes and things like that. So you can cook to temperature, to probe temperature. So say you want to cook beef, for instance, put your beef in there, set your temperatures up, the probe inside, and then the oven will cook until that desired temperature is met that the user has set. So it means you're not going to overcook, you know, things like that. So yeah, some really good features. As we're at this oven anyway, so most manufacturers will do this, but seeing as we've got this one in the showroom, I may as well speak about it. It's a condensing hood on top. So this is great for places that don't have extraction systems and things like that. You can get hoods, but most of the ovens nowadays will do this sort of, will do a similar system whereby it sits on top of the oven, steam, smoke, whatever, come, rises up, goes in there, and it acts similar to an extraction system. So it's great for the smaller units or places that say you don't want to spend that mass amount and to have a full extraction system put in. So a great feature, but just worth saying, it's not unique to Unox. Pretty much every manufacturer offers this sort of system, but it's just as we're here and it's in front of us, we may as well talk about it. As we mentioned earlier, different sizing, different shapes, depending on what you want. So full one, one size, right up to the full 20 grids there, 220 grids. And this has got like the trolley system. Again, great for large banqueting or large, um, cooking and stuff like that. Uh, you can load that trolley up, you know, put it for, if you're doing breakfast again, for instance, you can load that trays for the bacon or sausages, wrap it up in the fridge. And in the morning, the chef can just come in, wheel the trolley in, press go, uh, and the oven's gonna do all the work for you. So great things to have, uh, things like that available as accessories. So that's a sort of quick overview really of the, of the Unox stuff. Again, these ovens are here. I've got them in the NCC. I've got a demo unit in the kitchen as well. So if you do wanna get uh, up close personal, that sort of thing, please get in touch and we can look at the Unox. Right, let's move on to the next one. Another oven in manufacture you might have heard of is MKN. So this is one of the MKN ovens. This is a bit of a special oven. So it was sent down again for some testing for a big national chain. Um, this is the Flexi Combi, but it's got a fat separation system built into it. So the fat grease system on this one is 99.7% efficient, meaning that pretty much all of the fat is and the grease and stuff is taken out of the liquid and the water, separated in the container, and then what goes down through your drains is pretty much near pure water. So it's really good for things like, you know, fogs and things like that. And maybe you don't need grease trap systems and stuff because the oven is doing all that for you. It's a system built into the oven as well, which is great. So that means there's no filters and stuff to change either. Uh, and it's not always on. So the pump system can be uh, set into the program. So if you're cooking along and you've got stage cooking, for instance, you can have that pump coming on stage two, stage three, when this fat, you know, starts to come out of a product. So once you set that pump to go on stage two, stage three of the cook cycle, what you're gonna do is prolong the life of the pump system as well as energy saving, which is obviously a big key 
point at the minute, you know, lots of people, energy is very expensive, so we need to be cautious of how we're using it. One thing you may have noticed on this one is the oven is rather large, and that is for a reason. The oven uses a 1.5 GN size tray. So you can see here, that's your normal sort of 1.1 GN you'd get in your normal combi. This one is that much bigger. Reason for that, more throughput. So you've got a less racks, but more product going through. Even though the oven's bigger, the actual equivalent of throughput you get from the food is more due to that tray size. So the testing we've done certainly for chains and stuff like that means that the product we're getting actually through the oven is equivalent of an oven of a higher tray capacity or a rack size. So yeah, really good feature to have on this one. Certainly if you've got you know, a massive amount of food going through quickly, great option. So the cleaning cycle on this one. So this is quite a clever system. So if we look inside here, we've basically got two wax that melts at two different temperatures. So this sits inside the oven, and what will happen is when the oven goes onto a clean cycle, it will raise up to a certain temperature, that wax will melt, the first side of the chemical will drop, the oven will do its washing or it's having a bit of a foam party going on. Once that cycle is finished, it will then go to the second temperature, which will melt the second, um, second level of wax, and then the uh, second part of the chemical will come out and then do its final rinse and things like that and have a nice shiny oven. So a great little system. Again, these are fully recyclable. Just pop inside the oven, press wash and go. I guess the only downside to that would be, regardless if you put it on a, on a, a, a short wash or a long wash, you still have to use the, uh, the one size pot. Um, but price wise, uh, they still work out a bit, you know, are, are roughly about the same as the other units. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, and again, nice and safe, no risk of, uh, anybody getting hurt with that sort of thing or any you know burns on your skin and things it's very very simple you know even the wax on there to protect it um screen on this one so again we've got a nice color display screen on this um all the manual controls you've got the auto controls on there as well again this one's been locked down purposely for uh, some testing that we're doing in the kitchen um but similarly with the other ovens you know you've got full control there's so much going on in here you know we could do a whole session just on this oven but we're not going to uh, and again you've got things like your probe cooking in there you've got your your hose on the front to be able to wash out racks and things like that uh, another cool feature i think is worth mentioning as well is this one's got a scan feature so you can see on here that we've done some uh, basic some scans for some products that we've tested. So you can see on here, we've got a nice touch screen. And what we're going to do is we've got some uh, products in there, which are pre-saved for, for some testing that we've done. But if the user have, you know, we've, we've got a massive chain of restaurants. We've got these ovens in there. We want to, we're having the same product delivered from the same supplier every time. And we need a nice consistent cook. All the guy or the chef or the user has to do, turn the oven on, press the scan button. We can scan. And what should happen is, da -da -da -da. so we've scanned that. So cooking program loading, press start, it's ready to go. So it's telling me I've put the right tray in and things like that, use perforated rack. So it's telling me, very, very simple. And now the oven's gonna do what it needs to do. Preset time, preset temperature, preset parameters, all from a scanner. So very, very cool little feature. So this oven as well, it comes on a rack here. We've got some of the accessories I give with the oven. Because of that one and a half GN size, uh, you are limited to where you can get stuff from. But again, there is a, a large selection of stuff out there. And do get me wrong, you can still put your normal one one trays in there. Um, so your, you know, your accessories you've got already that are all fit into your standard oven will still go into here. Um, but with that extra depth as well, means you can load nice and simply in there as well as well as laterally. So you've got all the options, you need, which is great. So when you're really busy and you just want to throw something in there quickly, great news. Slam door as well, which everyone loves. But yeah, German made, great ovens these are. You know, you see them a lot in uh, like the um, marine world and things like that. But yeah, MKN, really good stuff. So uh, again, this oven's here for a while. Uh, how long it's going to be here for, I'm not sure. But as I say, reach out. If it's still here, come and have a look at it. And again, this is an example of what they do. They do all sorts. They do uh, uh, compact ovens, which has two ovens on top with a fully ventless and things like that with a, a, a condensing unit on top. They'll do sh smaller ovens, they'll do larger ovens, pretty much something to fit everything. And that's pretty much the story with all these manufacturers we're looking at. Uh, golden rule is there's something for everything. So, you know, I'm very confident we'll find something that's gonna tick the box for you. So as we move down the line, next one, we've got the Falcon Lenox Naboo Combi. So this is a combi steamer again, gives you all those three cooking elements. 10 inch display on this one. So this one's, uh, it's very similar to a tablet. So if you can imagine a tablet on the side of the oven, it gives you all that control on there. You can have your own images on there. Uh, you can set up your programs similar to the other ones with images, uh, but you can also upload videos as well. So if you've got um, these ovens across the estate and you're cooking a, I don't know, say a lasagna, 
and you use the, sim the same tray, same amount of this, same process. You know, you add your onions and your mints and you go on and so forth and so forth. You can record that and that can go up on here and you can play those videos back. Cloud-based as well, so it can all be downloaded through the oven. So very, very clever bit of kit. Um, Another similar to the other ovens on here has got a system called Just In Time. Again, that Just In Time simple uh, system will work out the, the determined time for cooking the product. So again, we'll use a breakfast as an example. So once you've set up how long your sausages are gonna take, your bacon's gonna take, and so on and so forth, you save that under the oven, and then you can drag and drop them into the uh, Just In Time system. And again, once all is finished, it will say, done. So it's very great, again, for that banqueting, cooking uh, to, to time rather than to order. Um, lots of other features on this as well with a touchscreen. This one's been locked down, so I've been doing some work on this one with the guys from Falcon at the minute. So we're ready to present back and things on uh, uh, how we can lock it down for them as a style. So we've just got one fold on here. So again, it just shows exactly how you can adjust, you can adapt, you can change, you can alter, you can Color, you can do whatever you want with the screen to personalize it down to you. So you can have it fully locked down whereby staff members aren't gonna go in and be able to turn it, you know, can play around and alter recipes and stuff. So it's very simple. They just come into an on and press chicken. They test, you know, whatever they're cooking in there. So it could be that far locked down. However, we can also go the other way and have it full of all your own recipes. You can have your own files, your own programs and stuff like that. The 10 inch screen is a nice big display there as well. So you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, the physical oven is quite large. Again, this is a 10 grid, but you can get them in different sizes, gas, electric, that sort of thing as well. Um, got the hose on there. This one utilizes a liquid clean system as well. So you get a liquid pod goes inside the trays here you fill that with a chemical up you swap it round, and then the oven will do its cleaning system as as and when it's determined obviously it'll prompt you as well if you think it hasn't been cleaned long enough other features as well similar to with other combis is you've got the probe system on there as well so again great for cooking to temperature on the front here as well you've got the water hose system so again clean the oven out uh, as you need to put some moisture in there that sort of stuff so the oven itself, as I say, with the, the buttons on there, we can go back to manual control. And you've got the basic systems again on there. You've got your temperature, your uh, time or probe, and then you've got your uh, moisture, humidity control, fan control, and things like that. Uh, obviously preheat, programming, and then you can go across then if you want to and have stuff stored in your, um, <clears throat> in the book if it was connected to the cloud. But um, so these are like pre preempted recipes. Uh, and you can see the screen on here is very similar to a smartphone. You know, it's very touch sensitive. It's very nice and slick, uh, easy to keep clean as well. Um, and of course you can update or download through the cloud or through USB and things like that. It's worth mentioning as well, some of these ovens will offer a lot of accessories. So these are just, as I say, examples of what's out there of this type of oven. But if you can get you know, systems like uh, valve systems on there for chicken fat and things like that, or you can get uh, special trays and racks to be able to do more grilling and things. So if there's something that specific uh, need, is required there's generally an accessory out there for that sort of thing uh, of course we can't have them all here they, you know they would fill the showroom with everything you can get for combi ovens um, but this again this is just more of an awareness of what is exactly out there so another big oven you know very uh, established in the industry um, good badge on there as well so yeah well worth looking at again this oven's here this is my test unit again reach out if you've got any questions Right guys, so the next one we're gonna talk about is the little Jorik oven here. Uh, this one's, well, different to the rest really for one reason and one reason only really is the fact it's on a 13 amp plug. So most of these combi ovens will be a minimum three phase, single phase power. Um, 13 amp is quite difficult to get because of the amount of power it needs to with the steaming system, obviously the temperature recovery and things like that. But the guys at Jorik have launched this little 13 amp combi. So again, great for small cafes, applications, and places like that, where you need a combi oven, but not necessarily need, you know, one of the big players. So we can have a little 13 amp combi, can plug in anywhere, obviously you need your waste, your water as well, and the extraction on top. Um, but as an option, if you haven't got that power there, you can have a little 13 amp uh, combi oven. Now it's worth mentioning Jorik as well, I've obviously have got a range of, uh, of combi ovens. This is just an example of this small one. They again, do the 10 grids, you know, the big grids, pretty much everything here. But what I've tried to do really is just sort of, Show something a bit different from each one so it gives you an idea of what else is out there rather than that where one combi comes in one size and that's all we can get. It's not a case. There's always something to fit every application or every need really. So again, reach out, get in touch and we can hopefully sort you out with something that's gonna tick the boxes. So we'll talk about the little oven here. So the first thing you might notice is the size. Obviously it's very, very small compared to the, the, the bigger players behind me, uh, at the side of me, sorry. Uh, and that's because we're on a 13 amp plug. 
another thing worth mentioning as well, tray size. So we're down to a two thirds gastronome. So normally you get the one ones, that's what these players take. Obviously the bigger one we'll talk about in a bit is bigger again, but this takes a two thirds GN tray. Small little cavity inside. But I've done a fair bit of testing on this oven uh, and it's really surprisingly good for its power. You know, you've got to remember its price point, what it's doing for power and its physical size and things like that. You know, it's unfair to compare this to something like, a, you know, one of the big rationales or a, one of the Unoxes because it's not that oven. If you need something of that power, then of course, Jorik will have something to tick that box. But this is a great little unit uh, and I really like it. I've done some, you know, a fair bit of steaming and stuff on there to really test its power. Uh, and it really does do what it needs to do. You know, it, there is time compromise, don't get me wrong. If you're using it in a service and you are using it at a really high temperature, the recovery time is gonna suffer because you've only got that 13 amp power to draw through. But in hindsight, if you haven't got any other options and this is a great option, then tick the box, you know, something like this. Um, it gives you the full controllability as well as you've got on most combis. You can see on the screen here, yes, it's more basic screen, but it's very plain and simple to use. You've got one touch, again, pre-programmed, so you can set it up to what you want, similar to all of the other ones. You've got your recipe book in there, so you've got your different options. Rack control again, so as you cook into order, uh, all full manual. And again, here, you've got your temperature, your time, probe cooking, uh, valve close, fan control, all the usual stuff you get on a combi. So really, really great oven in a little small package. And as you can see, compared to the other units around me, it really is that compact little oven. So a great little option. Again, this is my little test unit. So if you want to see how it performs, reach out, get in touch. This oven is the Altersham. Look at the size of it, it's, it's huge, but it's a great oven. Um, I've had it here a while, again, doing some testing on it uh, for a national chain. Very impressed, um, you know, <laughs> yes, it's a monster, but there's a reason for that. It's a 2-1-GN oven, meaning you can get two 1-1-GN trays in there. So the throughput on this is, is massive for its size, you know, for what you can get. So you see inside the oven, you can literally put two trays on the same rack. So lots of throughput on this. This one's come over from America. There is a, an update coming soon to, to a later model, but to be fair, I've used this one a fair bit now and it's, it's really user-friendly really. So some of the ovens take a bit of getting used to, you really have to sort of get into them and, and sort of learn the way they operate and how they uh, do things, how the screen works, that sort of thing. But this one, you can sort of work it out yourself. It's just very well designed. Uh, I like the touch screen on it. It's nice and clear and simple. Um, yeah, I guess the only downside to this particular model is, is its physical size. But back to the golden rule, again, they do all sorts of shapes and sizes to fit any needs you need to have. This is just a, a bit of a beast. So this is a, designed as a sort of a smoking combi as well. Um, now, most of the other ovens, again, will have some form of a smoking option, where it be, uh, whether it be a liquid, um, a you know, wood, a essence, a box inside the oven with a pipe going in. There's lots of ways to do it. This one uses a proper smoking box. So inside here, you get your wood chips, fill it inside the box. Inside the oven, there's an element at the back that slides onto the element, element heats up, sets, you know, smolders the wood, creates a smoke, smoking chamber, very, very simple. However, this one is very, very effective. So we did some smoking in this uh, just to try it because we, you know, why not? You've got a smoking combi, you're gonna smoke in it. And the amount of smoke it gave out was, was incredible. Uh, I was very impressed. Um, so yeah, but again, that's just an added feature you can have onto it. This is the smoking combi. So it's designed for that feature. Another plus to this combi is the fat separation system. So you can see a bit of a pattern going on here with the ovens we've got. So there's a lot going on with fat separation. Uh, again, it comes down to if you're in a, a chain that's cooking lots of chicken, for instance, and you've got a lot of waste and stuff, it just saves a lot of energy and money when it comes to things like grease traps and having to get rid of that fat because the oven's doing the hard work for you. So similarly to the other oven, this one's got a pump system in it to an external canister. And again, we can turn that on and off depending on what the cooking programs is. So this isn't stuff that's on all the time, which is wasting energy and you know, wearing down. It's literally only on there when you set it to be on or off. Uh, and again, you've got your basic features on there again, you know, your steam, your combi, your dry heat, time temperature, probe cooking. You've got your preheat on there as well. Um, things like Delta T cooking, you've got your fat separation, smoking, uh, fan control, humidity control, rack control, everything. So last thing to mention on this, uh, on the Autosham Combi here, is the cleaning cycle. So as we say, some will use a liquid chemical, some will use a little pot, uh, or in this case of the Autosham uses a tablet cleaner. So we've got some here, quite handily. 
So similar to like your rationales, you get your tablets. This uses the similar sort of system on this particular model. Um, there is talks of change in the future, but currently with this one, it is tablets. So what will we do? Cavity, obviously been used, so we need to clean it. So if we go onto the screen, we've got different options here. So along the top, you've got your short rinse and then intensifies cleaning methods as you go along. As you choose your cleaning one, it will notify you how many tablets to put in. So we've got one. If we go to a harder clean at the top, uh, three tablets. Uh, and obviously the time is gonna take along the bottom. But the oven's not that dirty, so what we're gonna do is just put it on a quick rinse. But normally what you would do is you'd undo the tablets and then there's a little grid inside the oven here on the center. Pop that off, the tablets go inside, uh, and then you press go. Uh, another thing to notice on this one as well, and pretty much all the combis, is the door will split apart. So this one's got two little tabs here, and this has actually got a triple skin. So you've got one, two, three skin door. So that's gonna retain the heat inside the cavity, uh, more thermal uh, protection, meaning less heat escape, meaning more efficiency and things like that, and more even temperatures. So great for cleaning inside and things like that, certainly with condensation can get between the glass, then uh, it makes it very easy to clean, wipe, before you put on the clean cycle here. So we close that down. Uh, and close the tabs and it's ready to go. Um, it's quite interesting actually, with this oven up even up like 200 plus degrees, the actual glass on the outside is still pretty cool, which is a good indication that the thermal is doing its job. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this one on a rinse. It's just gonna take 10 minutes. It's obviously telling me no tablets because we're just doing a rinse cycle. So again, great if you'd and if steamed off a load of broccoli or something with debris, we can then wash it out, press go and then the oven's gonna kick in and do its thing. So yeah, very, very good system. Um, so that sort of conducts really on the Altersham. Again, emphasizing this, this is an example, this is a two by one giant, big, huge oven on a big stand. But again, it comes in all shapes and sizes to fit most applications. So, uh, but yeah, certainly one to consider. Pretty much a lot of the ovens will do the same thing. The difference really between them will be things like, what's your budget, what's your price? Um, what features do you want? You know, if you're just doing something really simple, if you're doing things like, I don't know, just baking some biscuits or doing some sponge cakes and stuff. Do you really need to fork out the money and get something like a, an Altersham or a Rationale or, a, you know, do you need to have that really high-end sort of stuff where something on the, of an entry level, like the, you know, the, the, the smaller ovens and stuff will do exactly what you need and save you a lot of money. Um, so that's, I guess, one of the benefits of the NCEC and what we can do here is we can line up all these various manufacturers and combi ovens um, and run through them and see exactly what's gonna tick your box and make sure it does what you need it to do. There's no point paying for loads of features you're never gonna use. For instance, if you never have any intentions of doing any smoking, then don't buy a smoking combi. <laughs> Simple as that. Um, so guys, that was a really quick overview. Well, I hope it was quick. It seems like it went on for a bit, but hopefully my editor in the background here is gonna be able to edit it down a bit more. But it was just an overview of some manufacturers that we've got here, because we, as I say, they've all been sent to me to do some testing on for, uh, for a national chain. So for that, for the suppliers, thank you. But it just emphasizes what, you know, the great features this place has and what we can do here. Um, it's the only place really you can come along and see these all lined up where we can really get hands on and dial in and test and show you the features face to face. Um, so you get the benefit and that, you know, you make sure your money's going to the right place. And I'm very fortunate to be able to work with such great suppliers who I can just pick up the phone and go, oh guys, I've got a customer who's got this really strange issue, but have you got anything? And they'll go, yeah, that's a great idea, or this is a great idea. Uh, and that's a wonderful thing about the industry and, and my role as such is I can have all these people as contacts uh, and have the information I need at the end of the phone, really. You know, these, you know, I know a, a fair amount about these ovens, but the guys who sell these and manufacture them, they're, they're the true guys who know the ins and outs of all the intricate details. You know, they've probably come across every scenario, every situation. Um, with their particular oven and they should have a solution for that. Uh, and that's something that we can hopefully pass on to you guys uh, as the customer and make sure that you get the right product at the right price, at the right time, the right everything. That's the goal. So another oven to consider would be the Linkat Combi. So we've got one here again in the test kitchen. Uh, this is a six grid combi oven um, with the obviously touch panel on here as well. Um, and we've got a nice double latch door on there. So why is that good? If you are steaming and you've used a combi before and you open the door, you'll notice you get a nice steam shower uh, in your face uh, and covered. And of course, it will go past your extraction system and so on and so forth. However, with a double latch system, the door will open a little bit to begin with, allowing that heat or steam to escape up into the extraction nice and safely. And then you have to manually do it again to open the door again. So good thing or a bad thing, you decide. Uh, it's there for purpose uh, and does its job well. 
On the screen itself, we've got the screen system here. Again, similar to all the other combis we looked at, we've got the touch screen, full manual control on here. We've got the hot air, combi steam, uh, sorry, combi, combi smart and steam. So the features on there is basic override. So if we go into the convection or hot air, we can scroll up and down through the temperature range uh, and also your timer on here. Uh, and again, you've got your control of humidity and things like that. Um, it would be the same across with the steaming and so on and so forth. And then you get your other widgets on here with different options. So you can have recipes, you've got your smart chef where you can tell it you want to cook some beef, we're going to grill the beef. Uh, and then you want to tell it how you want the beef cooked and what color you want and so on and so forth. And then the software will um, determine what settings are best to be able to accomplish that cooking. So cool little features in there and it's always good fun to play around with and adjust and you know you can create your own things as well which can then be stored in your recipes or into your um, uh, favorites and things like that. Um, usual features as well you get with a combi so USB can, uh, control so you can uh, create your recipes and if you've got ovens across the estate you can store that and send it over and upload those data so you don't have to go to each oven and program manually which is great. Uh, the HACCP data in there as well so recording what temperature and time so nice and safe for when the EHO man comes and visits you uh, uh, and then you've got the preheats and things like that. So all your features you would expect from a combi again probe control shower handle um, yeah pretty much uh, you know these are great price point for these ovens um, it, it just does what it says on the tin so very good ovens again available in all sorts of shapes and sizes as well so it's worth mentioning uh, again that these are just examples of what is available from these manufacturers but there is usually something to fit every application so it's always worth if you've got a, a preferred make brand price speak to us and we can look at what those features are you need to get from the oven and make sure that model will do what you need it to do um, cleaning wise on this one we use a liquid chemical so there's two containers down the side uh, underneath on this one sorry on the trolley so two five liters and what we do as we put it on the clean cycle again it gives you those options so you want a quick uh, flush they call it or you know rinse then you've got light medium heavy and intensive so depending on how soiled or dirty the cavity is would depend again on what your cleaning cycle you choose to use uh, and then of course the amount of detergent that's dispensed will be adjusted depending on what intense cleaning system um, program you use. Some of the features you get on this one similar to most other combis again you've got your hand shower down there and then you've got your cooking probe again goes inside the door open the door sorry inside the cavity into your whatever you're cooking joining meat what have you uh, and then you can set the temperature as you're cooking to make sure you don't overcook the food so again great feature for you know really dialing in that cooking to make sure you get the perfect finish. As well that these are available in gas and electric and different power sources so again we can try and match something to fit your needs. So yeah so this is a, uh, an example of another combi oven that's out there you know as I said there's plenty on the market so uh, Linkat could be a good option for you so if you're interested in Linkat as well we have got this one here as I say it is a test unit so if you want to have a go please feel free give us an email give us a call and come down and see the oven in action. Right guys, so that sort of concludes our quick overview of the combi ovens we've got here at the NCEC. Don't get me wrong, there are others on the market that we haven't shown. These are just the examples I had in the cook line, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to do a video. So what we've got, other you know other brands in the NCEC, for instance, we've got the ones from Hobart, and we've got the ones uh, from Turbo Chef or Blue Seal uh, to have a look at as well. As well as, you know, there's other brands out there as well, which we haven't mentioned, you know, like the likes of Rationales and Combo Thermal, people like that. So it is always worth giving us a call if you've got any questions about about anything else uh, in the range or combi ovens you want to have a look at or you just want to get hands on and know the difference between the entry levels and the higher end ones and why the price difference is there but that's what we're here for so if you've got any questions please reach out to me chef at ncc.co.uk uh, and then we can get something set up and we can have a look at these ovens in person they are here come down to the ncc in bristol and we can get hands on with these units and really put them through their paces all right guys thanks for tuning in uh, for more information on the digital kitchen at the ncc and facility hire visit the website or give us a call. Details on this are below. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for regular updates on the digital kitchen. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.